Why is the sun so important to us? Well, without it, we wouldn't have the abundance of life on Earth that we do now. Living organisms rely on the sun as a source of energy. Plants can absorb this energy and use it to make their own food. This is why plants are found at the start of a lot of food chains. They are producers. The food that plants produce is a sugar called glucose. Being able to produce food in this way using light energy is known as photosynthesis. This is a process that happens in the leaves of all green plants. Because it's a chemical reaction, we can represent it using a word equation. Can you think of where these might go into the equation? If you need a clue, think about what plants need to grow and also what they make. We can also show this using a balanced symbol equation. Let's take a look. If you were to reverse this equation, you would actually have the equation for aerobic respiration. If you can learn one, then it should help you to remember the other. Many plant cells, particularly those found in the leaf, contain organelles called chloroplasts. These organelles are where photosynthesis takes place. Chloroplasts contain photosynthetic pigments, such as chlorophyll, that are able to absorb light energy at different wavelengths of light. This allows the plant to absorb the maximum amount of sunlight in order to make as much glucose as possible. So, why are plants green? Well, it is because they contain chlorophyll, but why is chlorophyll green? Well, not all the wavelengths of light are absorbed. Some of them are reflected, and it's mainly the green wavelength that is reflected from chlorophyll, which is why chlorophyll and plants appear green. All of these structures are made from substances that started life as glucose. Glucose is a versatile molecule that can be broken down, linked up, modified, or even added to other molecules to make structures like these. Let's take a look at some of the uses of glucose in a plant. Glucose can be broken down in respiration to release energy for processes in the plant. It can be built up to make cellulose, which is found in cell walls. It can be combined with nitrates from the soil to make amino acids, which go on to make proteins. It can also be used to help make chlorophyll and fats and oils. And finally, it can be built up into starch. This is an energy storage molecule in plants.